So, the way that we increase the integrity as something attacks me... Hello everybody and welcome to Great Games Live Plays The Hits, the series where I take on the very best video games of all time. And today I'm back with another video from my playthrough of Subnautica. If you were with us last time out, you will know that I finally built the prawn suit and today it is all about expanding my base. Let's see how things go. Now, before I actually start expanding my base, I just want to say that the things that I want to build uh, require materials that I've already collected many times before, like lead, lithium, lubricant, quartz, titanium, copper, that sort of thing. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. Um, now, I'm very aware in my last two videos, I've basically been running around collecting stuff in order to build the Cyclops and the Prawn Suit. Uh, with the base, there's going to be a lot more exploring, a lot more collecting, and I'm very wary that if I show you all of that, A, it's going to make the video very long indeed, and B, I'm not sure quite how interesting that's going to be, because it's not going to be showing anything new really. So what I've decided to do is to not show you that, and instead I'm just going to show me actually adding parts to my base after I've collected what I need for them. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I am back here having found a whole load of titanium and I'm going to use that to try and add some multi-purpose rooms to my base. So I've got my habitat builder out and the first thing I've got to do is add a little tube to the back of my current base. Here we go. So we've got a compartment here. Can I add it? There we go. We're going to add that in there and now we are going to add our first multi-purpose room. There we go. Let's do that. Wonderful. And I'm going to try and add another one on top of it, like so. Perfect. Okay. Okay, I've had a little bit of a think about the layout of the base and I'm actually going to add another multi-purpose room onto here. So let's do that straight away. There we go, fantastic. Get that done. I'm also going to add a little bit more power in the form of solar panels. So let's pop those on straight away. Oh, my goodness me, getting a bit close there, but there we go. Let's build that. Lovely stuff. Okay, now I'm going to deconstruct this one. Lovely stuff. All right, let's put a couple of compartments in place here, shall we? One there. And another one here. Then what I'm going to do is deconstruct this hatch and put the hatch, hopefully, onto here. Now, where is the hatch? Can't remember where the hatch is. There it is. I found it. Let's put it on before I run out of oxygen. Okay, get inside. So now we have a new entrance to the base. It's really starting to come together now. I really want to add now a couple of moon pools and a couple of large rooms to the base. That's going to take a lot of work and a lot of resources. So I'm going to go outside and get all the stuff I need right now. Okay, so before I add all these extra rooms to my base, I actually have to increase its hull integrity. Now, when you add rooms, the hull integrity decreases, and if it hits zero, the base is pretty much unusable. So, the way that we increase the integrity as something attacks me is by adding reinforcement. So that's what we're going to do straight away. I'm going to pop a bit there. As you can see, that's added a little bit to the hull strength. Let's put another one here. 
and I'm going to pop some onto these ones as well. Let's go up here. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll put one there. I want to make the base strong enough so that it can actually take all of these extra rooms. Here we go. Let's pop that there. Okay, can I put another couple on, I think? Fantastic. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to go away and find what I need for these extra rooms. Okay, guys, I've got everything I need to be able to build two moon balls on my base. I'm hoping the hull will stand up to this. Fingers crossed on that front. Let's see how it goes. Here's moon pool number one. Let's see where I can pop this down. There is exactly where I want to put it. Good stuff. I'll show you what you can do with the moon pool momentarily, but I just want to put another one back here as well. Let's give it a go. Okay, so that one is going to sit there. Fantastic. Oh, I better get into the base. But I'll show you how we can do that using the moon pools. Let's get into the sea moth. Head under here. And this is a moon pool. Absolutely sensational. And you can just walk into your base from the moon pools. Isn't that fantastic? And I'm back in the very first room I built. Lovely stuff, hey? Now I've got to get on with finding the items I need for the two large rooms that I want to add to the base. Okay, I am now in a position to add two large rooms to the base. So here we go. Here is large room number one. Let's bring it over here. Quite tricky to place these, I'm going to be honest with you. Can I put it closer? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. We're going to pop it there. I think that's the correct spot. Yeah, that looks about right. And I'm going to try and put one in exactly the same position, but on the other side. Let's see how this goes. Not the easiest thing to do this, I'll be honest with you. But we'll give it a go. Okay. Okay, can't go there. That's fine. Let's pop it there. That should do it. Okay, so now I just need to link the large rooms with my base. So let's give that a go. Should be able to do that with these compartments here. Perfect. There's one. Done. And I'm going to pop another one on this side. Okay, then let's swim backwards and take a little look at the base. Got to say, I am pretty pleased with that. And now all I have to do is decorate the inside. Here it is, folks. Here is my finished base. And I'm going to give you a bit of a tour so you can see all of the work that I've done on the inside. But before that, I want to show you on the outside, we've got these couple of platforms that I've put in place and they have exterior grow beds on them. And in this one, for example, you can see I'm growing some acid mushrooms. The reason for that will become clear momentarily. So let's head inside. So I can show you the base properly. Welcome aboard, Captain. OK, here we go. So first of all, we come into this room here. Now, this is a place uh, whether the player character is going out of the base or coming in where they can get changed and they can also use these windows to look out and see what is going on in the depths. Now, if we head down a level, down this ladder, we find ourselves in this room here. Now, again, whether you're coming into the base or going out, this is a place where you can relax, maybe try and stay calm, uh, decompress a little bit. We've got these plants on the walls. We've got an aquarium, which I've got to uh, fill up with some fish at some point. And we also have this rather wonderful poster with a cute kitty reminding us to keep calm. So yes, this is the place you come if you want to have a bit of a relax. 
Okay, we're into the base properly now. We've got a fabricator in this room, we've got a radio, and we also have one of these. It is a modification station. We're going to take a look. It's basically another sort of fabricator. Let's look what you can make uh, with this. So you've got a thermo blade. It's a new type of knife. You've got an ultra high capacity O2 tank, some ultra glide fins, make you swim faster. We've got a repulsion cannon. We've got a couple of depth modules here for the Cyclops, a prawn suit and a couple for the Seamoth as well. So we will be using this particular piece of machinery going forward. OK, over here we've got one of our moon pools. We've got the Seamoth in here at the moment. And here at the back, we've got another sort of fabricator. Now this allows us to make stuff that you can use on your vehicles like modules for hull reinforcement, engine efficiency or storage. Um, we've got Seamoth modules, solar charger, perimeter defense system, all sorts of stuff. We've got prawn suit modules, thermal reactor, jump jet upgrade. I will definitely be getting that. But also torpedoes. Fantastic. And also there's a station here where you can sort of uh, edit your Seamoth, change the colour, change the name, that sort of thing. Anyway, let's head out of here. And we're going to head into this room. And here, as fish start coming through the wall, that's never great. Um, here is where you can sit and have a little snack. And we'll have a look and see what there is in the uh, old snack machine. Not particularly healthy, I'll be honest with you. But the amount of swimming you're doing, I'm sure it'll be fine if you have a packet of crisps every now and then. And this is where you can sit down. I've put two chairs. Don't really need to. But, uh, you know, there you go. And, of course, once you've finished, you've got to drop your rubbish into the bin there. Now, through this door, we have your bedroom. Look at that. We've got a double bed. Very fancy. Lots of room for our player character. We've got a fantastic Aurora poster above the bed. And a prawn suit poster over here. We've got a countertop here with our cap that we found on the Aurora. The model of the Aurora. And the arcade gorge toy. Everything that we found on the Aurora, basically. And we've got a little sort of workbench here with a what looks like a film poster of some kind on the wall behind it and another porn suit poster over here. All in all, a very nice bedroom. OK, let's head out. Now we're going to head over into this large room over here. We've got these interior grow beds for a start in here. I haven't planted anything in there yet, but I will be doing that and that will give you a source of food going forward, which is a bit of a bonus. We also have this thing here. It is a bioreactor and you can use that to power your base. Let's have a look at what we are using at the moment. As you can see, we are. Well, I have put in a whole bunch of acid mushrooms and the bioreactor is using them to power the base um, as well as the solar panels we've got on top. But obviously they're not going to work at night. So the bioreactor helps to power the base as well. And that is why I'm using the exterior grow beds to grow acid mushrooms so that I can use them in here. Now over here. Oh, perfect timing. We have a filtration machine. And basically what that does is it uses seawater to make uh, drinking water and salt. So every so often you get a bottle of drinking water and obviously that will help with our thirst levels going forward. Absolutely fantastic machine. So if we head through here now, we've got our storage room. We've got six storage lockers on the on the wall filled with all of the things that we've collected so far. And then here we've got our second moon pool. We've got another moon pool fabricator on the wall. And at some point we will be bringing our prawn suit here and that can stay in here. Well, the base may be complete, but the hard work does not stop there. The next thing I want to do is go deeper into this ocean world to try and find a cure 
for the disease that is causing the planet to be put under quarantine. Only then will I be able to leave. Um, that will require a fair bit of work. There's all sorts of stuff that I need to find to be able to, uh, to proceed in the game. I want to upgrade my Seamoth, I want to upgrade my Cyclops, I want to upgrade my Prawn Suit, all of that. And that is what I will be doing next. It will have to wait for a future episode of Great Games Live Plays the Hits. Until then, I want to say thank you very much for watching. It is truly appreciated. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.